welcome again to the workshop and the build of this Queen Ant Pro version 2 Super Enhance. So today we start the electrical. Over the last couple of days I've been very busy working behind the scenes getting everything ready to shoot this video. Um, I'll just show you what I've been doing. So for this build, what I've done is I have made the electrical cabinet modular. In other words, uh, I want to have it so I can slide this out of the cabinet. Now the cabinet is actually an, an old microwave oven. It's a large microwave oven that packed up a year or so ago. But uh, I don't, don't chuck anything out because I always turn it to good use. So what I've done is made up um, a, an L-shaped board and I've put all the compo main components uh, on for the uh, electrical build. Um, but there, there's, I'm putting uh, two 10 amp fuses in just here uh, because I like to split my circuit up. Uh, VFD and run into the spindle on one, shall we say, feed. Uh, then the power supply and everything else for the servo motors. And of course, this is the 24 volt power supply for the rather nice breakout board for Mac 3. So let's start running. The wiring. So what I would do, uh, or what I normally do, is the first job before you run any cables uh, is get yourself a little cheap multimeter. You know, these are, you know, eighteen, twenty dollars from the your local sort of um, discount store. Um, now you set it on. 200k ohms all right we're going to check the earth circuit for the spindle okay there's four pins okay or four wires leading from the vfd to the spindle motor this is a three phase motor okay you normally would have single phase uh, coming into your house uh, and the VFD will change that single phase to three phase to feed this. That's its job, that's what it does. Okay, so I don't know whether you can see this meter or see the readout on this meter. It'll probably drop off there but Okay, so you can see it's, it's been a little bit damp out here and part of one of the numbers is not reading quite right. But what we're after is for that to read all zeros when you have a circuit, okay? And then one when it's not reading any, you know, not connected to anything. So. Just connect onto your, your, your body of your spindle and I know for the fact that the earth should be the back one back there and there it is. So that's telling me that that is that back pin is connected to earth on this. Now the second thing you should check We'll just take that off there a second. Is that the earth lead, that's it, it's the most important one, is connected inside here without stripping uh, all this apart and checking it. So what you do is just plug it in and it's spot there. Just roughly plug it in for now. And if you get the other end of your, your cable, you'll camera won't pick this up I don't think but there's four cables in there there's a uh, 
let me see, a blue, red and a black lead and a yellow and green. Yellow and green is the earth. So again, we will put the meter up on here so you can see. Maybe like that. Just stuff the black one in there. So we've got a bit of a bit of a connection like that. And pick the yellow one. And we have a circuit. Okay? So now we have checked two things. We've, we've checked the, that the earth lead is actually connected onto the body of this earth and that the plug is connected or earth is connected through this cable through the plug. So you know that's the first thing to check and then we can start running cables. Right so we're at a point now where you know we're going to be doing electrical work. Uh, which is in, in my case is involving three phase 240 volt AC. Dangerous stuff. Now, disclaimer time. I am connecting this up, right? The whole electrical system, this is how I am doing it. Now, I live in Australia. I know the standards here, I, I know what the standards are here for electrical equipment. So I'm showing you what I am doing. Where you live in the world, it may change. There may be different regulations. Now even I, when I have completed everything, I have a certified electrical engineer come in and certify the machine electrically before I start using it. And I would advise you to do the same. A certified electrical engineer will be able to check all your wiring and check everything that you have done. When it is certified clear, then you can use the machine. Whether you do that or not, that's entirely up to you. But that's what I'm suggesting you to do. So on the Queen Ant, uh, on the, uh, or along the top of the uh, gantry, uh, they supply two uh, cable chains. So what I'm going to do is everything to do with the spindle, like the coolant, and the three-phase cabling, I'm going to put through one. And the, the back one, I'm going to use for everything else, like the, like the Z-axis hybrid servo motor, uh, information, okay, and power, oh, actually, wrong way around. That's information. Okay, and this one is, is the power. Uh, then again, this is a three-phase servo motor as well. I'm also going to run the proximity sensors uh, with these cables too in the back one. So, you know, the, this high voltage three-phase signal uh, won't get sort of mixed up with the signals for the hybrid servo motor. Um, I don't particularly like uh, undoing all these little plastic pieces. I find it easy just to thread the cable through. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll get back to you when I've got these cables in.